Sri Lanka is slowly recovering from a severe economic crisis. The rupee has stabilized and strengthened by 12%, with the inflation now at 4.6% and interest rates falling. We can look forward to a gradual return to growth in the coming years. The IMF is expecting a 3% growth, while the central bank is even more optimistic, forecasting a 4.5% growth by 2026. Sri Lanka recently got its 17th IMF bailout, but it comes with tough measures like tax hikes, higher energy prices and wage freezes. It is unclear how strongly the public would stand against these measures. Poverty rates doubled last year, impacting 25% of the population. In early 2023, nearly 17% of people were experiencing moderate acute food insecurity. The upcoming presidential elections in 2024 make it uncertain how these economic reforms will continue. Traditional politics might come into conflict with these reforms, affecting the pace of economic growth. One important aspect of our recovery is the creation of high-skilled, well-paying jobs. But more than 58% of the workforce falls into the category of low-skilled workers, and this includes over 55% of employees in the service sector. In 2022, 311,269 Sri Lankans left the country during the economic crisis. Among them were a significant number of skilled workers searching for better jobs and improved living standards. This trend also added to the shortage of highly skilled workers back here. Sri Lanka's education system should also consider adjusting to the changing job landscape, especially since just 39% of Sri Lankans aged 20 and above have finished their secondary education. Overcoming these challenges can help speed up Sri Lanka's gradual economic recovery. The Sri Lanka State of the Economy 2023 report which is the annual flagship publication of the Institute of Policy Studies of Sri Lanka, provides in-depth insights into these issues and more, all centered around the theme of economic policy choices from stabilization to growth.